Okay, so Lee, what game have you been playing? We've been playing the same game, Darren. I you have re- reviewed, and I might not be the best person to review this because you two are the the football heads, aren't you? Love a game of soccer, and I'm more of a rugby man, being a Welshman from the south. But I did review New Star Manager, and it's a football simulation management game. But it's it's like this. It, it's split into. It, there was a part of it which I wasn't expecting. It's split into two kind of styles of games. One is the football management simulator. And it does everything you would want from a management simulation, except that it doesn't go in depth like something like Football Manager 2019 would, which you've talked about before, Darren, where it's it's overly complicated. It's quite a light, easy, friendly. The menus are there, are all touchable on the touch screen, and everything is quite intuitive to use and understand of what, what things are going on. But then there's a second side to it where you're actually playing a game and you get to kick the round the ball on the pitch. In, what, does it, what does it sound like? What a game does that sound like in describing it? Well, kicking the ball round on a pitch. No. But a little bit of strategy management and a little bit of playing. Nintendo Pocket Football. Ah, yeah. Nint- Very similar to that. It's deeper than Nintendo Pocket Football though, isn't it? Yeah, it's better in every level. But yeah, yeah. Good man, <laughs> but it's you agree. similar. <laughs> so taking the management kind of simulation in it does everything like i said you could possibly want you know you you can even build the money in it. it's called bucks so you you save up your bucks by winning matches and then you can even build your your center your stadium your training centers uh, your youth centers your medical facilities your scouting centers and you can employ then certain personnel to uh, that you can afford to work in these centers as well so you you're not just constantly managing your team you you're managing the whole aspect of everything including the stadium its stands and all the staff which at first seemed a little daunting but after a couple of hours on it it becomes second nature and then there's obviously your squad to, to maintain um, angry players you've got to manage as well you know you've got I, I don't know who would be analogous in a, in a real football term but an angry player who needs to be uh, stroked and because his, his skills are good but you've got to keep them on your side but not only have you got to keep the players on your side you've got to keep your investors boards on your side to get more money from them the sport in press and by doing certain little things in the middle of the game like answering a, a question correctly from the from the press you get these cards as well uh, so it's like these little mini games within just the management part of it and by collecting these cards you can use then these cards to upgrade stats and buffs on your players which was quite nice as well um, it's very difficult to keep everything running smoothly at all times but once you're in game, it also does what other football games do. You know, you've got your squad substitutions. You change your formation on the fly. You can change your player positions. The work rate of your team as well. So whether they're defensive, whether they're pushing hard, or or going on the offense and. The game then splits into two screens. One is your team on the left, and on the right is this dialogue box of the on-screen action. So it's going, oh, you're pressing forward. And then when you press forward, it then flicks through to this dynamic overhead screen, and it's all lag-free. It's all, you know, you get straight into the action, but it, it doesn't play like a traditional football game. It feels to me more like a chess game, because when you don't put any button inputs, the game stops. It gives you time to think about, oh, do I want to put a through ball here? Do I want to pass it? Do I just want to run? And then you press a button to run and the action starts and the, and you can see the your enemies, near enemies, the opposing team's <laughs> defense. You can, sell, you can tell I'm a good football player. <laughs> the, the, their defense coming in to tackle you and it's like, all right, you stop again. You, you drop the, the, the button inputs again and it, the game freezes, giving you time to think again, which is perfect for me who doesn't know anything. It makes it far more tactical and then you can tell players to go off on runs and put a through ball through. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get used to that, I kind of found that it's better to do that with the buttons because it feels more like a traditional football game than when you're using the buttons to do that. But everything else, you can just use the touchscreen. Um, and you can flick between the buttons and the touchscreen at any time you want, and it's flawless as well, lag-free. I enjoyed my time with it, surprisingly. I, well, you know, I was expecting it to be a middling game, and it was surprisingly hard to put down. 
I wish I could spend, now we've got playing Hollow Knight, I wish I'd go back and play a couple more games. Once you've got your team, and because there's no official FIFA license, but once you know your players and you start in, you know, you want this player and you're giving him extra cards to buff him up and all that, you want him to start working a bit harder, you, you, you'll end up having one match and then you'll have another match and then the season's passed and it's like, oh, I'm ready for another season now. I'm well happy with it. Very good. What what is there any? Do you have any niggles or because you get you three point five on the site? Yeah. The, so what, what was, is it more just because you don't like football? It's one is because I found it in the initially daunting. There's a lot going on at one side, and it didn't quite hit that four mark. Yeah. The the actual on pitch stuff is a little finicky. When you go for a shot, for example, it goes to this. Um, first person and the ball is bouncing across the screen you've got to press y at the right time and if you weren't pointing in the right direction you have to take that into consideration and curling the ball and it, it's just a little too finicky at times the management side of it probably does deserve a four i think but it's the on-screen pitch stuff which i think dragged it down a little bit that's fair enough that's fair enough i've been playing this as well a lot t- a terrifying amount as well I reckon now as well, like yesterday, I was, I was totting it up and it's about 25 hours. Wow. I've been playing it a lot this morning. It's probably closer to 30 hours. I haven't even played it for 10 days yet, so, when, so the Switch isn't telling me how long it's been, <laughs> so I went through the year. Uh, I've been away, so it's good. I've been on planes and I've been in hotel rooms. And stuff. That's my excuse, although I'm just playing it all the time because it's, it's really addictive. Um, I, I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think, I think that what the, straight away, I think you, you kind of alluded to it. It's like, well, it doesn't have the official license, but it's sort of... So there's no players, no, no, nobody you recognise, it, but the teams are, so, but there's like a letter missing. Yeah. So it'll be like Liverpool. So it's like Pro Evo. <laughs> mm-hmm. But there's, so there's like, they'll take a letter out, basically, of normal teams. Um, and you can change your name, so I've changed my name to Spurs. <laughs> and um, I've even created a cockerel flag with a ball. You know, it's got quite a decent um, logo editor. And you can change the kits and stuff. But ultimately, it's, it's not that, and I never expected it to be that. I, I realise I've actually played, there's one called New Star Player, or Soccer, New Star Soccer, on the iPhone. Which is where you only play one player and you've got to make him an international stuff. And I played that and I love that as well. So and, I, um, and it it plays just as well. And it's what's weird about it is that it's it's it is a football management game and you can play it and you manage it. But weirdly, it's much more of a strategy game set in the football world than it is. So it's not really like football manager. It's like yeah, you can choose your formation, but. There's a choice of nine formations, and you can't move positions. You can't set fullbacks to bomb on. You can't get. You can't do anything more than just say four three three four four two. So, so all the kind of management is really simple stuff. And I don't mean that as a negative. I'm just saying it's don't expect like a, a, a football management game. I love it for this. I love the fact that it's simple, and then it's pick up and play, and it's perfect for handout. Same here. That's I why I liked it. I think it was nothing too deep. If it was too deep, I'd be just been lost, you know. And yeah, yeah, this I could understand and get on with it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's and it's just fun, but it, but even the kind of st- kind of stru- the, the way the the kind of management side works, it feels more like a theme park. Like you can set your ticket prices, and you, you, in terms of sometimes the fan, and you've got like a relationship with the fans, and if you set them too high, they don't like it. It's, 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 so it's more like that, you know, like like, so like theme park or Sim City or something. Um, and like um, Lee said, you get cards. So if you do a press conference, it's a bit like a mini game. It asks you, it's, no, it's like a qu- that's like a quiz. So it asks you a question: um, How many? players are injured at the moment and if you if you know it then you get a, get a card which then you can improve the tackling on a, on a, on a player or in the last questions like what's your biggest victory this season and so it's quite fun actually um, and then there's an, a quiz that you can do team talks at half time and before yeah. round and there's like a list of 20 things and it highlights say six green out of the 20 and you've got to remember what those six green ones were and if you get them all right you give your players a boost before they go on so it's so it's not like actual management stuff it's much more like I say, strategy, just random strategy game stuff. But it's brilliant. It's all fun and it works. And the balancing of it is amazing. Like when you're in the... It's it's always slightly challenging to kind of like grow a team and improve your players and, and stuff like that. So, But the way you, the, the players improve and the way you can boost and the, 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 the speed at which you get better players and the speed at which you develop players is always perfectly in line with rising through the ranks. So it's, it feels like they've judged it perfectly. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's, it's just really addictive. In, in terms of the on stuff yeah at first it, i was a bit like oh i never expected this there was a game on the snes called player manager did you ever play it not on the snes i no. loved it it's it's a, it's like a, an even lighter version of that so can you remember a game called kickoff the football game yes yeah i played on super kickoff yeah super kickoff yeah. 
So player manager was like light management game with basically super kickoff playing game. Okay. And have you ever played any management games, Greg? Like footy manager or championship manager? We had manager? Premier Manager 64 for a bit. And okay. I have played a wee bit of championship manager in the past, but it kind of bores me to tears. You might like this more because it's so light and fun. It's not as... I love championship manager in all honesty. I love the more in-depth stuff. It's just a different experience for me. Um, but um, the, the playing side, it is. We- at first, I was a bit like, "God, this is weird. It's quite slow, and it's, it's very bizarre." But actually, the more you get used to it, the better it feels. And then you realise that actually, you can send players on runs without passing. Originally, it feels like you send them on a run and then do a through ball, and that's it. But actually, you can send any players. It reminds me a little bit of Pro Evo on the Wii, where you can like draw lines yeah. on players, and you yeah. can actually use your finger and send players in different directions and. And when you go up the leagues and you're playing against better opposition or in a cup competition and you play a, a, a higher league and you're like, oh my God, these players are so much faster and straight, then you have to be better at the playing side. You have to be better at moving players out of position and so you can move them away and create space. And it becomes re- like really, really tactical and how you do that. Because basically your team never scores a goal unless you score it for them, you know? So it's, yeah, you, you have to get good at it, yeah. Yeah, so it's management and then basically every go- goal-scoring opportunity you take control of the pitch. Yeah. So every free kick or every build-up play, and, um, and then you t- like figure out right how, how we're going to do this. And actually, the, the more I played that, the better that got. And then it got too easy where I could just do... And then I got promoted and then everybody was harder. And it's like, oh, actually, I've really got to be better at this. And, and, it, it, and even it's really satisfying like the, when you develop players. Like I'm, I'm just about to be promoted into the championship now. So I've had straight promotions every season. And the, when you play is when you get better players and they get faster and it's actually oh this is actually it gets it's just getting better the game is getting better and better and better for me um, because that becomes becoming more fun because it's not slow and sluggish and bizarre it's actually really pacey and like I say it's, it's, it reminds me of the Wii version of Pro Evo and I'm, again on a really simple level everything about it is a really simple fun pick up and play version of other games but yeah I mean it's there's not much more to it than that it's just really it's just ridiculously addictive ridiculously addictive um, in the same way that a lot of football management games do, and a lot of stuff like playing FIFA does as well, where you play you play one match and you're like, oh yeah, I'm here. Oh, if I win the next game, then I'll then I go top of the league or something like that. And then you win that game, or you lose it, and you're like, oh, I can't end on a loss. I'm gonna have one more game, end on a win, and then you win it. And, it's, and then all of a sudden, the sort of summer's here, and you're like, oh, I want to buy loads of players. I want to sell loads. Constantly sort your squad out. So it's very addictive. I think. It is at times, like I said, I put a lot of, it's like, I think I said to you, Grady, and I was like, oh, last night, I was like, I think I put about 25 hours into it. And you was like, you could have finished Hollow Knight in that time. <laughs> <laughs> and it is going to be one of them. But it's not as much of a time, weirdly, it's not as much of a time sink. It, it's more of a time sink than Hollow Knight. But weirdly, like, you put Hollow Knight on and it's like, yeah. that's the serious gaming time. That's what I call serious gaming time, where I'm sat down, I'm going to play a game. This game, I'm like making a cup of tea and I'll have a game. And I've, I've never done that with a Switch. And I hear other people doing it. I never play it. I very rarely play with it in handheld. But now, here you go. I've always got it next to me. So I'm like, oh, I'll just have a quick game. <laughs> I'm just going to do, do a bit of work. I'll make, make, yeah, make a cup of tea, make a sandwich. Just play a few games. while Because like, you can sort of leave it as well. Once yeah. you the match is going, you can leave it. And it's just like the commentary. And you can see how, you, see how you're getting on. And then it stops for the for when you need to kind of take action. Anyway, so it's it's perfect for that kind of... So it sounds like I give it a 3.5. It looks like you're going to give it a 4. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. It's I'm we you know I'm definitely just going to keep playing it until I win the Champions League and the league with this team. Although I don't know what's going to happen when I'm in the same division as Tottenham. Um, it's going to be it's going to be weird Spurs v Tottenham. Uh, but it is good. You, you know you can even like build your capacity, the stadium, and you can even do, build like corners, you know, corner stands, and yeah. you got like build your money, and everything's a balance. So you, like you, so like. Um, Lee said you have different so you have like a, a medical like a, a medical unit a youth unit a training pitch the stadium um, and a scouting unit and you have to build and you can grow them so the first one's like a little hut and then you can build the next version which is a, a bigger building and then the last one is like this grand sort of amazing centre and then after each game you can pick each car- a card f- only one so you can either pick a training card, which is going to be a skill card to, to skill up one of your players. You can build a treatment card, which if one of your players is injured, you can then make them recover sooner. You can do a scout card, so they scout a good player for you. You can build a youth, get a youth card, so they give you a youth player. And then there's cool down periods, and you can even develop them. So it's like eight, maybe it takes eight goes to 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 to, to be able to get another card. Um, and stuff like that. So you can even develop them. So it's like, oh, what do I do? If you've got like 100,000 kind of dollars or whatever, it's like, do I buy some players? Do I upgrade my medical unit? Do I, what, what, you, know, you have to upgrade 
contracts is another thing, quite a big aspect of the game actually, where um, it's not like again, it's like like I say, it's not like a football thing. So you just you, you sign them up to like forty matches, and then when they get close, you have to add keep adding matches onto them. So and then you have to pay him like quite a lot of money each time you want to upgrade the contract. So it's not like signing there's, up five there's years. There's even and that's a mini it. game with a contract thing as well, isn't it? Because you're guessing higher or lower. It's, it's this yeah, little higher yeah. or lower shirt. The little shirt comes up number eleven, or I think a lower. And if you get all those in a row right, you successfully negotiate the contract. <laughs> And if you get it wrong, then it's yeah. a little bit higher than yeah. what, what their wage was. So it's stuff like it's like everything has got those little sort of like mini games. So like I say, it's not a rep- it's not a football management game. It's a, f- a very fun, simple strategy game set in a football world with a really, really interesting little football dynamic um, to play as well. It's I think if you like football, it's a no brainer. Get it. <laughs>